Hi, I just want to go over using the tools that when you want to take the PSSA practice testing. So I am going to start at my login screen of the Chromebook. I'm not going to log in. I'm going to go down to apps at the bottom of the page, DRC Insight Online Assessment, and select that. I'm going to wait a little bit for this page to load. When the page loads, I can see that I have classroom diagnostic tools up here. I have my PSSA testing that I would test sign-in page, and also if I were taking the keystones, my test sign-in page. We want to practice a little bit, so we're going to use the online tools training. I'm not going to click on the image. I'm going to go right below and use the online tools training link. Now I select which test I want to take some training in. So I'm going to use the PSSA link. And I have four options of looking at the calculator, the ELA test, the math test, or the science test. We'll start with the calculator. My page opens, and on the screen it's giving me my username and my password for me to log in. I need to type that exactly as shown there, with the uppercase and lowercase letters. And then I'm going to sign in. My first page is a page that's going to make sure that I am exactly who I think I am. So here, it's just a calculator because it's a test page. During the actual test, your name will be listen here, listed here, what session you're taking, what school you're in, and a secure ID. You'll probably receive a slip of paper with this information, and I always want to make sure before I start that I'm in the right place. For testing purposes, this isn't so important. During a test, it is. I'll hit continue. And now on my page, it's just saying which do I want to take, whether I want to do the calculator, and again, I'm going to hit yes. And I'll go down to the bottom, and I'm going to begin the test. And while it's not really a test on the calculator, it's just giving you a little information about how to use them. At the top, I can see that I have my calculator, and I have two choices, either the basic or a scientific calculator. And I also have a graphing calculator. So I can learn to practice with all of these during this test. So I'm going to choose my basic calculator. I can see the calculator pops up, and I can play with how to use it. And just so I feel comfortable, so I'm ready during a test. When I'm done that calculator, I could switch to the graphing calculator, which is open now. Or I could go back and select my scientific calculator. Now, I did have two calculators open at the same time while I was doing that little demonstration. But if you select down on the page, the next button, and it's actually going to tell me that I can only have one calculator open at any given time. When I'm done feeling comfortable with my calculators, I am going to go to review and end my test. On the review page, it's showing me any questions I've answered or unanswered. When I'm done, again, I'm going to end the test. It said I've answered all my questions, and I can submit. Once I submit, I can't go back for review. This is just a practice. So, of course, as a training student, you could go back and try again. But during your real test, once you submit, you can't go back to answer. And I'm exit. And now I'm back at my start page. I'll use my back button to go back to the other tools that I could look at. We started at PSSA, and now we'll look at ELA. I select my grade level, and here are my username and password that I would log in to look at the ELA test. You can see they're all lowercase letters, so I have to enter that exactly as it's shown and sign in. Here's a sample of what you might see. You want to make sure all that information is correct and hit continue. I'm going to do the English language arts, and it's loading a sample test. The first thing I'm going to see is a page that's making sure that I can see all the colors and exactly how a test should look. The graphics will load. If you see the three circles just as you see here, then you're ready to begin. If I didn't see those circles, I would contact my test administrator. Now I'll begin the test. Here are just some sample questions that you might see during the test. They want to show you how the tools that you have along the top might help you to make some answers. 
So here the practice hint is to use the cross off tool. This is the cross off tool right here so that it's highlighted in blue. You can see the difference between my pointer tool highlighted in blue or my cross off tool. So now I have the ability to cross off. It's a little hard to see, but my pencil has a little X across it. I would read my question and decide what answers probably would not really work for this question. And I could actually cross those off to help me figure out which ones might be right. When I figured out what answer I would like to give in the test, I'm going to select the pointer tool again, which gives me my pencil, and I can click on the block and answer the question. Go down and click the next button to see the next question. And I would work through the tools. This one says use the highlighter tool to underline words, words that should be changed. When I click my highlighter tool, I'm going to use highlighter or clear all. So I want to use the highlighter. And I'll just highlight any words that I think might help. So I'm clicking and drag, dragging across. When I'm done and I want to answer the question, I want to make sure I have my pointer tool and I click in the appropriate block for the right answer I want to give. And each of the tools in this tutorial is saying use a magnifying tool. So I want to make sure I select the tool, select whatever they're asking me at the top, how much I would like to magnify. And I can see that it's much larger and maybe a little easier for me to see. When I'm done using the tool, I want to again make sure that I've selected my pointer tool and gone back and answered the right question. When I'm done using the magnifier, I can turn that off. This is asking me to use the sticky notes tool. So on my sticky notes, I can select to have a sticky note and make a new sticky note or hide them. So I'm going to make a new sticky note. I would simply click on the page and type information that I think might help me answer the question. When I'm all done my test, I can review the test and see any questions that I've answered or questions I haven't answered by just selecting it and seeing the reading that's involved and answering that question. When I'm completely done the test and I feel like I'm ready to submit, I again would hit the review test button. I could return to questions or I could end the test. Remember, once I hit the submit button, I cannot go back and review again. I've got a warning, am I sure I'm done? I have answered all the questions and I would submit or I could return to review. In this case, I'm going to submit because I think you've got the idea. And I'll edit the test. I'm back to my beginning page there with my online tools. So I'm going to go back and I could go to my PSSA again and then continue and check out what the mathematics and the science tests might be like. Just to remind you how we got here to begin with, I'm going to go back. We started with our online tools training. There's also a great assessment tutorial link there that can show you some tricks that you might want to learn about the assessments themselves. When I'm done that, I'm going to exit and I'll return back to my login page where I started. When we started, we didn't log into our Chromebook. We went down to the lower left hand corner, selected Apps, and DRC Insight Online Assessments. That's how you'll reach the PSSA. That's also how you'll be able to take the training.